Okay, so uh, I am preparing uh, the three assemblies. One, <laughs> two, three. Yeah, it's three assemblies um, for separation. Um, and I got fed up with using epoxy. Um, the quantity um, involved will be uh, really quite large, but actually I want bracing uh, uh, things which can be easily removed. Um, the uh, uh, Loctite Extreme uh, rubber glue is just not, um, uh, uh, we're going to use too much of it. So I went for hot glue gun instead. Yay! All right, so um, this is part, this bracing point here is part of the roof and against there as well. That's the back box um, behind the driver. Oh, sorry, this is the yes, this is the driver support. That's the back box. This bit, this bit here. Um, so uh, uh, this is just resting on here, but needed. Um, that's great. That's glued. Uh, I think that's dried. The, the hot glue was dried there. Um, I found that um, uh, using uh, the masking tape as a mold making system was actually really good. Um, with the epoxy and so I just transferred that technique over to over to the hot glue um, and uh, the roof line continues to this uh, those are bracing points I'll probably will keep these in but to make an air box um, uh, and, and that part of the thing is part of again part of the roof all of that will just is just lift off it's under gravity at the moment um, I'm going to separate, that's already separated, I'm going to separate that, um, the two sides, the door side, the floor, uh, floor support, and that uh, side um, underneath the door there, um, a door sill, I know it's a massive but it is actually a door sill, um, will be one assembly, going up those two pipes to that corner which I've hot glued, corresponding one here and just you know a whole stack of hot glue in the top there and I made the mistake of gluing this one to that one this one is part of the back box I'll just have to cut that off but if that was epoxy that would be absolutely flat out no chance um, uh, again uh, door sort of sill support uh, hot glue to there uh, these are triangular bracing to keep this stable. This uh, door thing wobbles about a lot. Triangle bracing down to the floor. Um, that's a. That's not a. That's a. I'm going to need one more brace, aren't I? I'm going to need one more brace across to there to keep the front of that floor stable because there's not enough on there. Likewise on that side there. Um, for separation. Now the separation points are this is the back box to which the driver support is, is on and uh, if I do the floor point you can see I've hot glued a second rail on there just to the left of my fingers All right. and um, I think I accidentally hot glued those two together but then separated them just in time so this is this bracing support is hot glued onto the floor floor um, floor support runner um, so um, the floor support runner is going to come off that's only tape on there so that's going to come off it's the underside there is not on that not attached to that I'm going to leave the node on, so all of these are, are hot glued on. Uh, there's a cross bracing piece which is hot glued there, hot glued between there and there, and then hot glued on from there onto there. And I also made a on the underside here. Um, where was it? There is a pipe under there. Oh yes, yes, there is a pipe on here. On here, you can see this. That's part of the floor. That's uh, the, this bamboo is part of the floor. These pipes are part of the floor support. And what I did was I created a, a U shape of tape, and then just drop 
hot glue inside it to keep the separation between there and there and then uh, gummed it up at both ends. Masking tape is remarkably, whoops, masking tape is remarkably easy and quick to do that kind of trick. So um, then uh, I had to do the roof as well. Now I've done a lot of epoxying. This is all epoxied up. This part is all epoxied up. It's a trapeze, or it's a self-contained unit, this one. Um, but there were some things missing, uh, which I've just um, massive amounts of hot glue and little bits of bracing. Um, normally, I did the as well as epoxied. Um, uh, again, hot glue off between there and there. Um, more between there and there. Um, you know, just to give it um, uh, that structural thing. And this whole lot should cross fingers. All of that, all of that should cleanly come off as one assembly because that is not attached to that and that is not actually attached to that. Um, I'm wondering whether to put diagonal bracing hot glued across between there and there. Um, all of these side rods here, that's epoxied, that's epoxied. This, is, this one here is hot glued. And again, I created a little a little um, uh, mold tunnel out of the things kept it away from the uh, what what you don't want is uh, the tape actually in contact with the with the bamboo um, all the way along because what will happen is it, is it will only um, uh, 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 the glue won't run down the side of the um, uh, thing you want uh, surrounding the glue surrounding things so you need to tape a little bit away from the um, uh, from the bamboo and where you wanted to think so that it will create that um, yeah that, that um, create the mold properly I think made a couple of mistakes on those earlier but you know I, you know it's cock glue we could always take the tape off and then um, let, once it's uh, dried and uh, shove on another layer you know <laughs> all right so um, next thing uh, roofs coming off which is This, uh, that, 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 and that wedge at the front. All right, thank you.